Hello Taurus! Welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, as usual, we look into, um, or we, we separate or divide the reading into areas a little bit, so it's a bit easier um, to make sense of everything. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of November 2022 for the sign of Taurus, before we then go into your emotional core, see if there's any trauma that can go, um, see if there's love coming in, that sort of thing, before we then finally um, we'll look at your um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November. And for the most part, these opportunities are oftentimes about, you know, um, work and what sustains you financially, but not always. And I only work here, so whatever the guides say, I will say. So, <coughs> the first thing I should probably say as a general thing is that we have the full moon on the 8th which is also a lunar eclipse, and eclipses can affect people's moods quite a bit. There will be a, a, a full moon um, reading or video for November on the channel. Uh, please go and find it after this video. Just want to say this, that, that there will be quite a shift in energy, uh, especially sort of in the first half of the month, right? So especially around the full moon, uh, quite interesting thing. Doesn't necessarily have to be super negative, but lunar eclipses um, was something that ancient people were actually afraid of. In any case, let's have a look now. Uh, for your overall energy, you got the rabbit. And then <laughs> you are Taurus, you are the bull. And the, the, the one in the middle, the one about your emotions, is the animal that depicts your star sign, bull. So that's powerful. Uh, and we will look at it in due course, and then um, so you have the the rabbit for your uh, overall energy, then you have the bull for your emotional core, and then the animal guide that shows up uh, for your emotion, sorry, for your opportunities is the deer. So let's take this from the top. The overall energy for the month of November 2022 for the star sign of Taurus is the rabbit. You are not stuck. So stop saying that to yourself. The rabbit is literally saying, look, look at the canvas this world provides, right? If you're stuck, maybe that's on you. Maybe you think, you know, see, this is the thing with Taurus. <laughs> because family is really important to you and because at times even status can be important to you, you, you don't necessarily like change all that much or have problems embracing change um, so you so you tend to stay in situations a little longer than um, most people probably would and the rabbit is saying this is just one of your imprints that every now and then needs to be overwritten if you're really unhappy ask yourself would i advise my best friend to be in that situation and if the answer is no then you have your answer the point the guides are making is the overall energy for november is go out do things, find new paths to explore in all areas, and first and foremost, enjoy. Enjoy being, um, it almost feels like you're sort of on the hunt for new beginnings, and that's a good thing. Um, and that's what the guides are saying to you, is because that's, that's what the rabbit brings to you. It's just that you need to somehow, you know, you have to allow yourself to go there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, right? I'm looking out the window, Bloody hell. And I can see my cat. I think she's going for, she's, she's trying to get a bird. And then my other cat, Fidget, who unfortunately, is, no offense to Fidget, is a bit of a, he doesn't get much. Um, he just sits there and watches what she's doing. Moll, please don't bring any animals home. Anyway, where was I? Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's just I'm looking out the window and, 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 I, and I can see them right there. Bloody hell. <laughs> anyway, that's got nothing to do with the reading. Um, just scrap it all. Point is, you have to wrap it. There are so many opportunities that you just have to look at. And maybe it's time you made changes should you find yourself um, in, in a situation where you're not happy. Okay? So, 
And then when it comes to your emotional core, you are the bull. And the, the, the bull is what also represents your sign. And the bull oftentimes is depicted as the animal that sort of protects a territory, if that makes sense. Um, beware of the bull comes to mind. And, but the bull is also about renewal. And what the guides are saying is what is needed for you to get what you want emotionally um, is for you to show strength, speak up, tell people off, make sure your perimeters, your territory is really safe. So the way I'm getting this is, um, it's just the way they show it to me. It just feels like, you know, you probably are uh, overworked and then you you're probably are a person that is always there for others. And logically speaking, how could you ever recover? when you're just giving, giving, giving. And that's the one that needs to change. Now, when it comes to your emotional core, you could do with a break from, from, from everything. Unbelievable. Sorry, yeah, I'm apparently not with it because my, my cats, I didn't know that they're, leaving, that they're leaving the grass patch to go where the street is. Uh, in any case, so the outgoing energy or your your emotional core um, is the is the bull, and then the outgoing energy here is the deer, as your uh, opportunities when it comes to uh, what sustains you financially. And what is important here to understand is that the deer fully works on instinct, and so there may not be that many opportunities coming your way, but feel what is for you and then make make a decision on what it is you want to do when it comes to making changes or going for other positions and the likes. So the point is don't chase anything, it's not gonna work. Okie dokie, Torians, that's all we got. Thank you for watching, see you next month.